Uh, welcome to the uh, January 2013 paper. Uh, this is a BY1 paper from the Welsh Joint Board. Uh, we're looking at question 6 now, which is um, on mitosis. Um, this is the first question um, that they've used just chromosomes to represent uh, the stages of mitosis. Normally they would actually put the outline of the cell in. Now I know that, um, speaking to some students, they found this a little bit problematic. Just to see the chromosomes seemed to put some people off. Don't let that put you off. It's the chromosomes that are the most important part of mitosis. It's the, it's the, the structures that you really have to understand and to interpret um, as to what is going on. Um, so there's a number of, of, of images here just showing chromosomes. Okay, um, so we'll um, we'll give these a little look now. Um, if you look at this uh, diagram here that I've just uh, squared, <coughs> um, you should be able to interpret that um, stage of mitosis. Um, it is it is showing the separation of uh, chromatids uh, to the opposite poles. So this H. Uh, stage would actually be uh, anaphase. Okay. Um, the next stage, then, if we go to to I, um, this is showing really two um, sets of chromosomes um, that have actually gone right to the poles. Um, so this would be a telophase here, where you have all of the chromosomes now that uh, that have moved completely to the opposite poles. Okay. Um, if we look at um, J, um, this shows um, a nucleus here with a, with a kind of a grainy appearance. Uh, that grainy appearance is the chromatin. Uh, you can't see distinct chromosomes, uh, so this would actually be interphase. It's the stage where you really don't see visible chromosomes at all. Um, K then. Um, this diagram shows the uh, appearance of chromosomes. Um, so the chromatin has condensed and shortened, um, and the, the chromosomes have become fatter and visible. Uh, the chromosomes are um, distributed throughout the nucleus. Okay, so they're sort of uniformly spread throughout the, uh, the nucleus. Uh, so this would actually be prophase uh, of mitosis. Uh, L then, uh, the last uh, image, um, this is actually showing now X-shaped chromosomes and you can see that they have congregated now in a sort of line uh, and that represents the equator of the cell. So this represents mitosis, sorry, represents uh, metaphase of mitosis where the chromosomes align along the equator. So, uh, the first question is now asking you to place the stages into the correct sequence by adding the letter into these boxes. This, this is a, a basic uh, question that is, is always asked. Uh, you do need to remember the order of the stages of mitosis. Okay. Um, and in this question, you have to obviously interpret the images to find out what stages they are. Um, so they're giving you J as the starting point, which is interphase, which is correct. Um, after interphase, it's prophase, so the answer there would be uh, K. Um, after K, it's uh, prophase. Okay. Uh, sorry, after after K, it would be metaphase. K is uh, is prophase, of course. Uh, so after prophase would be metaphase. And that would be uh, image L, where the chromosomes are aligned along the equator. So after metaphase, um, you would have anaphase. And if I just scroll up again, you can see now image H is anaphase. That, that's showing the uh, chromatids being pulled to opposite poles of the cell. So um, that would be H. And uh, the last um, stage is telophase, and if we just quickly scroll up again, that would be I, where you have the two um, sort of nuclei formed um, after the cell has divided. 
Okay, so the last one would be I. <clears throat> okay, part A2 then, name stages I and L. Uh, well, I've really uh, done that already, so I'll just type the answer in. Okay, so I is telophase and L is metaphase. Okay, we've got a diagram now that um, is summarising the uh, cell cycle. Okay, so I just want to mention a few things about this. Um, G1, S and G2 um, represent the um, three subdivisions of the interphase stage. So G1, S and G2 are actually interphase. Um, mitosis um, there in this rectangle or wedge here um, obviously represents the, the, the division of the cell. So it includes um, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Cytokinesis um, occurs at telophase. It's where the um, cell actually divides into two. Cytokinesis means division uh, of the cytoplasm. Okay, so you've got a table of data here, um, which you will need to use later on in the question. It's looking at um, the DNA content of the cell during each of the stages in the diagram we've just looked at. So you've got G1, S, G2, M for mitosis, uh, C for cytokinesis. Okay, um, this is very typical um, question where you you are given the DNA content of the cell, and the the, the key things that you've got to appreciate is that there is a doubling of the uh, DNA. It goes from twenty to forty. Uh, all of that occurs uh, during uh, interphase, okay, and 40 will then reduce down to 20 when the uh, the cell undergoes cytokinesis, when you actually form two daughter cells, okay. So that last box there, um, C, cytokinesis, it says 40 decreasing to 20, that represents the formation of two daughter cells. Each daughter cell having 20 arbitrary units of DNA in it. Okay. So the uh, first question here then is state the name of the period in the cell cycle that includes stages G1, S and G2. Uh, well the answer there of course uh, is interphase. Okay, the next uh, question, state two events that occur during this period. Again, you, you should know quite a few events that occur during interphase. Um, it's the stage of the cell cycle that lasts the longest, and, you know, approximately 23 hours. Um, and this is the stage where the cell prepares to divide. Uh, it's an incredibly metabolic uh, stage of the cell cycle. So much ATP is being produced. Okay, um, you've got replication of DNA. Um, you then have new organelles being uh, made. Um, the key thing here is with mitochondria and chloroplasts is that they actually replicate themselves because they have their own DNA. They have the ability to self-replicate. Uh, so you could say that the chloroplasts and mitochondria replicate. Don't say that for the other organelles though. Okay, for all the other organelles, you can say that uh, they, they are made or there are new organelles made. Okay, um, other things uh, that occur during interphase would be things like um, uh, protein synthesis and uh, the, 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 the cell actually uh, enlarging in size. So I've just put in there ATP production and protein synthesis, but uh, obviously. Uh, many other examples that you could have had. Uh, using the uh, information provided in the diagram and the table, explain why it is important that the DNA content of the cell increases during stage S and decreases during stage C. Well, um, during stage S, the DNA has doubled. Okay, um, It's gone from 20 to 40. 
all right um, that has to happen you have to double the DNA content because you are turning one cell into two cells all right so during stage C you've got cytokinesis where the two cell or the one cell divides into two so each of the new daughter cells as they're called requires um, a full set of chromosomes known as the diploid number um, so that's why during during S stage the DNA content doubles from uh, 20 to 40 that then halves from 40 to 20 during the C stage which is cytokinesis um, because two new daughter cells um, are being produced so I've just uh, written in the answer there um, exactly really what I've just said uh, doubling from 20 to 40 during S stage during the C stage two daughter cells are being produced so each cell needs 20 units of uh, DNA um, which is the diploid number okay so that would uh, get you two marks uh, part D then, explain how mitosis maintains genetic stability. All right. um, it is important to remember that during mitosis you have two genetically identical daughter cells. So mitosis is a form of cloning where you get no variation occurring in the DNA, so no genetic variation. Um, and that sort of maintains the genetic stability there. So you've got a um, two genetically identical daughter cells um, to the parent cell okay and that then maintains genetic uh, stability okay so that's the uh, the answer to the last question um, I hope you uh, again found this video of, of help